So a couple weeks back I went through this little shed and I got rid of a lot of stuff and I also set aside a bunch of stuff to go to the 3rd Street Market for round two. So we have this little Nickelodeon like almost like a light bright an old toaster typewriter ribbon a little box Spongebob Squarepants food tray thing an old cooler a random alternator Military surplus bag, some science books, candy store, like container, and a bunch of random stuff like napkin holders and you know just all sorts of junk. Most of the stuff I'll probably put 25 cents on it. Although this candy store candy bin, I'll probably put like two dollars on that. I figure. Like a rip-off, what's it called, a magic eraser or whatever. Should probably do pretty good. Ooh, check that out. Definitely is doing pretty good. I've just been in a very cleaning mood here lately. And I'm, I'm really happy that I have been, because I've been opening up a lot of space in the house and in the shed and whatnot. I think I'm going to start tackling the storage units, and maybe someday might be able to get it to where I don't even need to rent a storage unit. I honestly don't get the love for still photography. I'm like totally enamored, if that's the right term, in motion picture film, whether it be 16 millimeter or 35 or 70 millimeter, although not 8 millimeter. I, did, I can never really get into 8mm, but I don't know, like, I, it, it's very foreign to me how people can be so into still photography. I don't know, it's just like, it, it just seems so lifeless to me. It's so strange. This old military surplus bag that says U.S. Field back training? What? Deck training? Dock training? I'm not sure. Well, anyway, there's a bunch of mold all over, in, all over it. And so I think, let's take this water, add a bunch of hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, and then we stick it in there. It's still bubbling after like 15 minutes or so. I hope it's not attacking the actual material itself. Eh, that's kind of okay. That military surplus bag did actually turn out better than I thought it did. So I think I'll sell it, but for a low price, maybe two or three dollars. I hate to go too high. And my mom has some stuff she's selling too. So let's go. So here's the booth. Still have some junk left from last time. Bottles. Oh, it didn't sell. Oh, it didn't. How did it wind up down there? I don't know if I'm losing stuff all the time. Yeah. Let's take this from seven dollars down to four dollars. How about that? While you're doing that, I'll go look around. Okay. This has been moved around a good little bit. That is ugly. Why the fuck would they paint it white? That is disgusting. And that's pretty much it. Got a lot of the junk in here. Mom's finishing something up. So remember guys, 3rd Street Market in Greenville, Illinois, if you want to buy any of our shit. Although I might actually start selling some nice tools and stuff I could restore and maybe even blacksmithing stuff. So maybe in the future our booth could be kind of interesting. 
but for now I'm using it as a mechanism to clean up the house. So it's been about six months now and amazingly we've actually sold almost everything and I'm already filming my fourth video in this series but I, I figure it's nice to give it plenty of time to know what sells and what didn't. What didn't sell was the big candy store candy bin. And I think there might be a few other things, little small things that didn't sell, but pretty much everything is sold, including the old alternator, which is kind of funny. So now this is the second video in the series. For the past four months, for the, for the first four months since the beginning of this video, so like May to September or August or so, stuff from the first video actually made us about $43, which is pretty good. And stuff from this video made us about $21. We're still losing money, which makes sense because we don't quite have enough stuff in the storage unit as of now, like as of this video, to really be making a bunch of money. Although, in subsequent videos, we're really starting to sell some, some stuff pretty fast, so... Like, we're starting to sh switch over from being just interested in getting rid of the shit to being like, well, we can put the price higher, like put it for $2 instead of 25 cents and then wait for it to sell. And so now we're starting to actually get to pay off the, the, the booth. Uh, the booth is only $38 a month, which is not that bad. It's, it's good fun. And then we're making like $20 a month, so it's a good, it's a good excuse to get rid of things without just throwing it away. So then we have, we have August by itself, and I'm not sure if we had, I didn't think we had the, the Star Wars mugs in this one, but either way those sold, so it's ten dollars. And then October, October was really busy because we, that was whenever we first started visiting in almost every single week and putting new things in, because I was also cleaning up the storage unit like I said I would. So I've actually cleaned up most of the storage unit now. And I'm still going through, like, I went through almost all the stuff first. And I took out, like, four bins of stuff to sell. And now I'm going to go back through and go through again and take out some more stuff. And I'll just keep going over the same things. And I'll just keep picking more out. And I'll end up with a, highly con a high concentration of cool things that I don't want to sell for a low price. But on this one, we actually sold about... 30 items, which is pretty cool, but not really too much from this from this video. Although I believe I believe the Hobart hat, the the welding hat, the welding cap was in this one and whatnot. Either way, pretty much everything sold, and I think it's pretty cool. So I can't wait to report on video three and four, and I can't wait to find more stuff to sell because this is kind of being pretty fun. I might even go bottle hunting because those bottles, even though they were kind of new, actually sold, which is amazing. So I might be able to even get like almost brand new bottles and sell them, like from the recycling center. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> Sorry, getting over being sick. Well, that's pretty much it. I've been meaning to make this, uh, I've been meaning to finish this video for months and I just keep forgetting. So this series might be kind of random and it's uploading, but oh well. I figure six months of information is pretty good though, and pretty much everything selling is pretty good. I am quite surprised. We have a bunch of turkey feathers. I'm thinking about maybe putting a bunch of turkey feathers into the booth before Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving. But um, I don't know. That might that might sell. That might not. Like they're from Roadkill too, so they're like. It's not like we killed a turkey, it just happened to be on the side of the road, so we took the feathers. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.